so children as i said you before you need to use the website called canva okay this is a, a website where you can create posters you can design graphic organizers you can download worksheets for practicing so to create an account in this you need to use your school email id password can be of your choice for that you can get the assistance from your parents i am just going to show you how you have to use that uh, website or the application so since i have already created my account in this it's already there so i have given my school email id and password i am just going to give login once you give login it will take you to a window where different options will be available for you for example it will ask you to create a presentation like when i take class i present the screen for you right for that if i want to design i can use this posters for your homeworks you can create posters you can uh, design graphic organizer so since today's activity was to create a graphic organizer of your choice where you have to define an object of your choice with all those seven key concepts okay so i'm just clicking in this option graphic organizer i'm just clicking on it when you click on that it will take you to a window where you will have different kinds of graphic organizers see different kinds are there so i am going to select a graphic organizer called as mind map already you can see it is over here because i have uh, done many works using mind map so i'm just clicking i'm just typing it for you okay just give mind map and just press enter so see in the left hand side you can see lots of options are there lots of different mind maps are there you can select any one of your choice so i'm just showing you one so this is already typed because it's just showing you an example how a, a mind map or bubble map will be it's one more name is bubble map so it's ju just showing you an option here so i can select the percentage also i'm just selecting 75 because it will be more visible for you so first we need to type the name of the activity so the name of the activity is looking through the lens and once i finish that i will just delete all this information i don't want all this information so just select that delete it the first time when you are using you can get the help of your parents already you would know to use it because you have used many different kinds of apps right so i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to type my name just type your name here because this work is done by us isn't it so whenever you do your work the important thing is that you need to type your name now you can see my heading and my name is two you know one is big and one is small so i want my name also to be big the font size should be big large so i'm just clicking on this uh, plus symbol here because it will increase my font size i just can give plus or i can directly type it over here if you know the size okay and if you want to change the color it's here you can change its color so if i want something else like yellow i'm just giving yellow so everything changed its color now yeah if you want to move this somewhere you can just take it drag it move it it's your choice yes and if you want your font to be in the center just go to this part alignment yeah see once you click it will take you to different places i want my name also to be in the center i am doing this so this is how you need to type now the activity which we chose was defining the object right so i am just typing my object the object that i have chosen mobile so the first thing we learnt was form so give the title as form for that just type form you can select any circle you want form how does it look it is black in color you can type anything you want about its shape because form is everything how does it look how does it feel all that once i finish that i'll go and may write function so it works with battery right like that 
so for each circle you need to give different options here connection just click enter and see when i am typing connection you can see the word is split into two so to avoid that i can change the size of this shape and then i can drag this like this just have to click on that everything is available over here there okay so you just have to type like that what is the connection it's connected to me because i use it to make calls like this so you just have to type all these things once you finish it you can change the color also see the background color is this if i want uh, background color to be black i can change see i can i am giving different shapes i mean sorry different uh, colors and if you want to add one more shape here already here uh, many uh, circles are available but if you see if you don't want one circle you just press delete button just select it press delete okay and if you don't want the uh, if you want an extra circle over here just go to elements here these are the tools first you have to go to the elements go to shapes click on that just select the shape that you want so i'm just giving circle see it's a big circle which is hiding my details here just make it small or put it somewhere wherever you want change its color of your choice make it into your choice so this design or everything is available already here okay everything is available over here you can select any one just make it creative the way you want okay because we have to be creative isn't it nobody is going to judge you on that so just give the option that you want but i cannot type it here because there is no text box so just go to text box it will show you lots of options so if i add a heading the text will be very big so i'm just adding add a subheading see one text box is a box is added over here just click on that drag it to the circle now click on the circle increase its size it will fit into that so adjust it however you want then you can uh, type the details you want for example if you choose you know responsibility so based on the font you can make it big make it small or even you can change its size everything is your choice once you finish all your works just go to download and click on download you don't have to do anything just download it it will be saved in your desktop just attach that into the google classroom that's it this is how you have to use the canva i hope you would have understood thank you